Hi, my name is Alex, C2 Advanced Centric, and for the next few minutes I'll be showing you how to perform a checkout or open a rental agreement. When you log into Rent Centric, right from the home page, you're able to click on Rent Now, or simply click on Agreements on the top menu bar, and click on Add New, and you'll be redirected to the checkout process. We have simplified the checkout process into two tabs, which is the customer and the agreement tab. To populate the customer information, you can simply use your magnetic card reader and swipe the driver's license to download the information to Rentcentric, but it is limited to US and Canadian states. Or you can use the ID scan, which is a more advanced system and supports virtually any driver's license in the world and scan the driver's license, populate the information, adjust it on the screen, and download it into Rentcentric automatically. Uh, if uh, you're adding a new customer, you can start typing the customer information, or you can simply click on search and look into existing uh, customer database by entering first name, last name, or any other information you might have. So we'll pick the first customer. It will automatically populate the information. Uh, you can also uh, go ahead and add more drivers. You can simply click on Add Drivers. And it will take you back to the same screen. You can either swipe or simply click on Search and add another customer. You can search for let's say another John in the system here we go so this is our second customer if you like to modify any of the information you can simply click on the calendar for example if you like to change the the, the year of uh, of the birth you can simply move through the dates pick the right date and click OK and click OK again to select the date and populate the information. You can also click on more info and if you have any additional information for example the company of the customer you can simply populate it and save and come out of the screen. If everything is okay you can go to save and uh, you can click on save and go to agreement tab. If you would like to still modify any of the drivers you can just simply click on edit or remove them from the driver's list. If not, we'll just go to the Agreement tab. Now we're on the Agreement tab. Um, as usual, the agreement number is automatic. You can also override it with a manual entry. The pickup date and time is current date and time. You can enter the number of days that the customer is renting the vehicle. Simply select the vehicle type. I'll select Intermediate the system will populate all the available rates. I can pick special daily special at $30 a day. Uh, I can also overwrite uh, any of the rate information if I have the permission and the charges summary will be automatically updated. I can search for companies in the system if uh, there are companies and there are designated rates under these companies I can easily select it by searching. I can also apply a discount based on a percentage or a dollar amount. I can give a discount and click on update charges summary. And as you can see, the discount is applied to this rental right after the time and mileage. You can then add um, referral, uh, select the existing referral or just add a new one. Uh, you can specify this uh, contract as a non-revenue, also any additional information that you might have. Now, for selecting a vehicle, we have made a, a real easy uh, search screen. You can simply enter the vehicle ID uh, in this box or click on search, and you can search by the vehicle ID, license plate, or the vehicle type. You can just click on search, and you get a list of all the vehicles in the system. If you have the permission uh, to select a vehicle on rent, which I do have the permission to do so, 
you can just pick the vehicle. If not, you will only have access to the available vehicles in the system. So it will tell you what vehicle you picked, uh, the odometer out on the vehicle, which you can overwrite, the fuel level of the vehicle. You can update from uh, this uh, little gauge with dragging and, and basically moving it from zero to eight. Uh, if the customer would like to buy a prepaid fuel, you can simply click on buy prepaid fuel and uh, specify how much of the uh, tank size um, uh, they like to purchase and the system will automatically um, uh, calculate based on the tank size, tank size of the vehicle how much prepaid fuel uh, total will be. So on the right hand side I uh, would see that the prepaid uh, fuel total for this specific vehicle will be $14. Now uh, these are your insurances, miscellaneous charges and taxes. The taxes are selected by default. Any of the other insurances you might have you can just pick here and click on update charges summary and as you can see it will add it to the charges summary you can also uh, for example if you have some kind of a uh, insurance you can simply click on it and update uh, the insurance amount right from the screen so let's see this one is twenty dollar the other one was uh, uh, fifteen dollars or if you have an insurance type that is uh, on a daily or weekly or a monthly amount I can simply update the amount click on save and it will update my charges summary now um, if you would like to add uh, any additional charges or free form charges you can just simply enter the amount uh, in the administration if you have set up that these charges are taxable it will appear here and you can simply uh, print the detail and it will be added to your charges summary from here you can simply swipe uh, the credit card or just click on enter manually uh, select the payment type uh, enter the card holder name and the credit card I will enter a sample credit card and it will tell me that it is invalid. I think I need 15 here. Okay, there we go. And expiration date, save. And now um, I'm able to um, uh, process to credit card either through the online payment gateways that you have set up in the system or you can simply just apply the payment to, uh, to this rental uh, by entering the amount and if there's any transaction code or authorization code from your uh, point of sale system and click on apply payment and as you can see uh, the payment is applied now if you have a, a signature pad system connected to the computer you can simply click on add signature uh, ask the customer to start signing and once the customer is completed with their signature you can click on save select your rental contract to print and complete your rental and as you can see uh, the rental contract is printed and the signature is showing at the bottom of the screen you can just simply click on print and send it to any of the printers you have connected to your computer.